All right, all right, what's going on, family? What's up, what's up? Welcome, welcome to Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. I'm your host, Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. That's right, the Batman of Charm City. Right here, right here. And my lovely co-host is the phenomenal, the amazing Shay Samuels coming out of Atlanta. I know she wish she was in Charm City. The weather is beautiful, y'all. Man, we had an awesome dog walk. Man, several of them. Yes, yes. But it won't be lasting for long what I hear. I heard it's going to be in the 50s real soon. But that's what it is. The world we live in. All right, let's talk to Shay Samuels. What's up, Shay Shay? What's going on? What's up, Jerry Voice Live Worldwide, a.k.a. The Batman. How are you? Happy Monday. Yeah, yeah. So you're back. She's back. I'm back. She's back. That was fast, wasn't it? When you said, "Dang, go on it. Is it is it my night already?" I know you said that. She said, Man. "No, I didn't." I said, "I said reporting for duty." No, I'm I'm back. I'm back. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Shout out to Paula G. She held it down for the whole month of April and did a phenomenal job. And what better way to end her? Um, her her month but with david bitten last week so shout out to pg she did an amazing job yeah yeah all right yeah we, we appreciate david but i was i was hoping we could have got him on least lakeisha's show but you know it turned out to be a great show kelly was able to fill in it you know kelly is a very funny lady she she cracks me up like every week <laughs> <laughs> I love get, her. <laughs> well, you remember her. She is so funny. Her personality <laughs> is just bubbly altogether. Like she's like she's like real with a side of sass. With uh, like she's like real side of sass, but but like quirky type funny. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's good to be like that when you're around kids all the time and everybody all serious and education. You know, you gotta you gotta have some place where you can let your hair down. You know, we family. You know, you know, you know. I act up in a heartbeat, so you know, it's good to have a sidekick. Yeah, <laughs> good to have definitely, a sidekick. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So tell us, I've Shay. had some amazing times with her on on the show. Yeah, we got it. I, I got to work her around because you know she got her book and everything. So I got to get her back in mm-hmm. in conversation with some of our new podcasts. You know, we got some new family members. New family members. Yes, I heard. I yeah. heard. You've been keeping me in the loop. I heard. Congratulations yeah, yeah. and welcome. Yeah, I try to keep the flyers out there. Um, of course, you know, we got uh, uh, Pastor Dante Duckett out of Baltimore coming out of the Glen Burnie, Annapolis area. His lovely wife, Diane, she's going to have a show on um, life coaching, and he's going to have one on teaching of the Bible. And uh, his show aired tonight. I didn't get the chance to listen to the whole show. Cause I actually was on the air uh, on a conference call talking about marketing and television mm-hmm. with uh, with the, mm-hmm. the people that's on the show tonight, Life Coaching School. That's right. I was, yeah. was going to say yeah. Life Coaching School of Technology. That. I mean, Life Coach School of Arkansas. That's what they call themselves. All right. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Um, you know, I love talking about uh, the things we do here and and you know, you know, I always have conversations about marketing all the time. You know what you guys are doing with Beyond the mm-hmm. Fence, and you're always trying to mm-hmm. stay innovative. You know, a step. You know, and, and really, you're really trying to stay a step ahead of the competition because we all competing for the same. You know, um, you know, com- consumers. You know, yeah, trying to get in front. I of think them. you know, you use the word competing, and I know, like, we all are in the same. Um, we're all in the same realm of work or ministry, right? But there's something I said a while ago in one of my motivational moments. I said, if you go down the bread aisle, you'll see different types of bread. So multiple people had the same idea. And based off of your liking, you're going to pick the bread that you choose. Um, You know, but I don't see the bread up there talking about choose me, choose me, choose Mm -hmm. me. There's different people that walk down the aisle that some have health needs, some have just kind of like whatever is trending. So if it's like gluten-free, that's what they're going to choose. If it's white bread, that's what you grew up on. If it's wheat bread, some people want to try something different. So yeah, I look at it like we're all on that bread aisle and you know, we're just, we're just waiting for somebody to kind of pick up 
what we are. Yeah. What we're putting out. But you know what? Make that sandwich. It, it, it kind of reminds me of the NFL. Whatever's working, every people are going to jump on board and try it, you know, because it's so, you know, it's so it's so wide open what you can do to attract, yeah. you know, consumers. Because that's the bottom line. We want to get in front of consumers. And, and one thing, yeah. African-Americans, you know, we really never had the opportunity to really ex- to experience television, you know, except for what we had with BET and um television mm-hmm. one but you know we all can't afford it you know so we just keep our little dollars in our pocket but there are <laughs> opportunities out there that's growing right now you have a lot of streaming television platforms you know you got Tin randall with ugn you got um uh dr dr harrison with bg bgn tv so you got a lot of mm-hmm. you know um opportunities opening up and also i think pgn too with uh Dr. T- Teresa Jordan. So you do have some yes. some um, some people out there trying to make it happen. I think um, uh, Linton Smith has a network out there under the Tiki Network. A few of them are under the Tiki Network. So a different streaming platform. But, you know, you guys got Paula G. And you got Shea Samuels. Yes. And you got Lakeisha Moe. Yes. They're on a big boy platform. They're on, they on cable television where they already been assigned a, a viewing audience. You know, Comcast in almost every major township, they, they, they have like 1.5 million subscribers on an average, you know, and some people say, yeah, the number's going down. Yeah, but the people plugging back up, they they just can't live with the inconsistency of uh, some of these other networks. <laughs> you know, you when you turn your TV on, yeah, you want it to work. Yeah. That's what you're competing with, the yeah. inconsistency. Yeah. It's almost like you, you kind of get branded for the people who kind of see what you do as a hobby. You know, maybe they had a great idea. And then it's kind of hard if you're not that major label or label network or whatever that um, even artists, you know, if you're not that, then people kind of look at you, you know, like the majority rules. They're not going to be consistent. That's, That's you know, I like what you said last week about uh, David with the consistency. You kind of look back and you see the growth Mm -hmm. and people staying the run. And that's how I see you. I mean, you know, we met. A long time ago, years and years and years ago. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, you started off on one platform and you you kind of found like, this is what I want to do. This is my niche. This is where I am. Media is it. And decided that you wanted to cultivate something and opened up. I'm sure you didn't think that that this was going to open up a platform for multiple people in in different ways. You know, know, I told you, I did not. I, you know, I used to always envision being on television because I always wanted to be Don Cornelius. I wanted to be Don Cornelius. I wanted to be <laughs> Bobby. I wanted to be uh, Bob Johnson. You know, I wanted to be Magic Johnson. I wanted to be those people that was, you know, and now Tyler Pry, you know, looking at him and Steve. And I'm, I'm right. Yeah. I can sit at the table with those guys. You know, I can yeah. sit at the table. I mean, they pull up in a Ferrari. Batman can get a Ferrari. <laughs> it may not own it, but um, I, I can pull up in a Ferrari. Uh, I think you need to stick to the truck. <laughs> no, I can sit. At, no, I'm just saying I can sit at the table with those guys. You know, it's like you know, oh, yeah. they, you know, they. I'm, what, I guess what I'm saying is I'm in television land now, and and I brought my friends with me to play. You know, to entertain yes. the people. Yes. You know, yeah. And it's like, um, yeah, most you know, people don't do that. So right, you're right, right. You know, so. With all that said, I, you know, I give I give homage to those guys because they were, you know, they were guys that that was before me and they were showing us that it can be done if you go for it. You know, you set your sights, your focus, and you work hard. And today, we must say we 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 have six television shows, people, and they they're for you. You know, it's to cultivate yeah. your family. The, you know, a lot of people are always saying we don't have family friendly programming. We don't have anything to enrich you and empower you. Man, you got Shay Samuels. She's scripture based. You got Paula G. Scripture based, spiritual minded. You got Lakeisha Mosey, transparency. Now we got Skeet Jones out of New York is here. And he's ready to do his thing <laughs> with Scott. And they dropping. So the, the Christian hip hop has been whining that you have no platform. To run your videos, but YouTube, yeah. hey, we got it for you running yeah. live right in Atlanta, Georgia. That's right. And worldwide on the Earth Channel. That's right. That's for you guys. For you guys. And Shay and and and, and, and Sky had a ball uh with Skeet Jones. And somebody somebody hit me up today and said Skeet Jones is crazy. <laughs> He's off the chain. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with that guy. Yeah. So 
We can't wow. wait. We can't yeah, wait. Yeah, you keep a lot of amazing things going on. Yeah, yeah, innovation, man. We got wild on. So that's why these people are here today in the queue to talk to Shay. They wanna, they got some questions. I know you're gonna interview them and find out where they're trying to go with their platform, their coaches, their authors, their moms, their dads. Yeah, but they decided to take a leap in faith and try something new. They want to help people because of their journey. They feel that they can help somebody, uh, you know, come down that right. Cause you, cause you know, suicide is high mental illness is up at a, at a high rise right now, especially with what's going on in the world. Uh, they need people like this, but they got to get their name out there. So people know where to find them. And, and that's what, it's, and that's what, why they're yeah. here to talk to you, Shay. So you can tell them how to yeah. do it. All right, let's let them out the queue. So you got their names. You can call them out the way you want to. You can manage the way you like. <laughs> Dr. Terrell, he's just sitting back chilling. He's taking notes. He's observing. And so is the Batman. So welcome everybody to positive power, double X I late night with Jervis live and Shay Sam coming out of Atlanta, Georgia and Maryland. Welcome, y'all. And I guess all of them might be from Arkansas, but I'm not sure because they do online uh, coaching uh, sessions as well. Tennessee. Hey, Tennessee. <laughs> what's up? She know Tennessee. She know about all about Tennessee. That's where her business is at. All right, Shay, well, have a good time with him. I'm right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Monday, the late night show with Jerry Royce. And I am your co-host, Shay Samuels. So I'm happy to be back. I'm happy that this is the first time I'm back and I get a chance to interview a couple of amazing people who have vision, dream, and they are here to bless you all today uh, with their um, their coaching and their testimonies, their stories. And really, we're just going to dig into a lot of questions because I think there's a um, a stigma out there, especially for our culture, when it comes down to coaching versus psychologists and psychiatry and um, counseling and things of that nature. And so um, I'll bring them on in a minute. Uh, but shout out to um, to Dr. Charles Jenkins, who allowed these young women to come on today. And I'm going to give a little of his bio first and foremost, and then go right into the introduction of the people who are on the line with me today, tonight rather. So I'm going to go ahead and say Charles Jenkins began his career as a certified drug and alcohol counselor in 2007. Terrell earned his certification in 2000. 2010 as a certified drug and alcohol counselor through the Arkansas Substance Abuse Board. Mr. Jenkins has earned his BA in psychology and earned his master's degree in organizational leadership as an executive coach in 2020. Terrell is the owner and instructor of the Life Coach School of Arkansas. In 2013, Terrell founded his nonprofit organization, the Advantage Program, which is a life skills and education reentry program. As the counselor and 14 years of personal experience along with his professional life coach certification that has provided him with the skills to understand individual issues that may face traveling that may face traveling across the country. Now I'm going to stop there and then come back. That is an amazing, amazing, amazing. What I want you guys to hear is vision. Habakkuk says to write a vision and make it plain. And so all in what I read just a few minutes ago, there's vision that went behind this, but then there's execution that had to happen in order for this to happen. And so the people we have on the line tonight with me are people who took advantage of the opportunities that were presented, just like Jerry and I were just talking about, once you open the door for other people or once you start to kind of get yourself fulfilled and you get your your, your, your creative edge flowing, what happens? And starts this thing start to develop out of that, and so I'm happy to have you all on the line. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. hello, hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> hello. Hi. Ah, I love it. I absolutely love it. So just reading that, you know, um, it kind of gets exciting like I haven't had a chance to meet Dr. Uh, Jenkins yet but uh, we've been kind of you know we've passed one another on Facebook a time or two but it has to be exciting to hear the bio of the person who kind of start or start maybe catapulted where you all are right now um, and where you're going but to know like that person had to start I was watching uh, Madam C.J. Walker a couple weeks ago and it was amazing to me how she just had a vision you know and kind of walked walked out that vision and then had people come on board and believe in that vision. And that's important. So I'm going to first ask everyone to, um, to introduce themselves because I can't, I can't see you guys. So I'm just going to say, 
the first person, go ahead and start introducing yourself, and then the next person go right after that. Well, I'll start. Hey, hey, my name is Linda Frazier. I'm also known as Coach To Be Real. Okay, Coach To Be Real. I like that. Where'd you get that? How'd you get that name? Oh, I got this name uh, uh, through my journey. Uh, actually, I have a, a reputation of actually saying things a little just straight out, and and, and <laughs> if that makes sense, I'm trying. I'm trying to make it nice. It makes sense, and people always say, hey, "You know what? You're so real with what you say. You're so honest." So I uh, I base that on that. Just being real with someone. Okay. No. All right. So we have coach to be real, and the next person. This Hello, is Coco Chanel. Um, Coco Chanel. I am the life intervention specialist. The light. Uh huh. Let's go back just for a second to the life intervention specialist. Let's go back one second to the life intervention specialist. Uh, So, talk to us a little bit about what that entails. Um, Well, it is basically the um, title that God just kind of gave me. Um, I learned through life. And everything that I did, everything that I went through was for a reason, for a cause. And I specialize in life. So my program is set up to um, interrupt unhealthy life patterns and break down those cycles to rebuild women and men to become their best self. And so I learned that through my experiences. And so that's why I am called the Life Intervention Specialist. Okay, and then I think we were about to hear from Coach Sherry. Was that the was that the next one? That's right. And sorry yes. about that, Coach Coco. Sorry. Um, it's okay. For having us, <laughs> Sherry Bogard. Uh, I'm Coach uh, B True. Coach of B True. Um, all about being the queen bee and teaching people how to be their kings and queens. Okay, and then we have. Who else do we have on the line? Can you hear Hi. me? Can yes. you hear me? Yes. Hi, I'm Latroya U. Jones. I'm the founder of U Life Academy, and I'm a workshop facilitator and a community-based educator. All right, and then I believe there's one more person. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Coach Rhonda. I'm also an instructor for the Life Coach School of Arkansas, and I I'm glad to be on the call. All right. So in case you all missed it, I'm going to run them back down. And if I forget somebody, please bring Jerry and Dr. Jenkins. (laughs) 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 I have Coach Linda Frazier. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Coach to be real. Yes. All right. Now, every time you say that now, I'm like, to be real. There you go. (laughs) Whatever works. Whatever works. (laughs) And then I have um, Coach Sherry Bogard. Yes. I have Instructor Rhonda. Yes, I'm here. Miss Coco, Coach Coco. That's right. I'm here. And I have... Coach LaTroya Jones. Yes, ma'am. All right. Y'all sound like Destiny's Child. Y'all halfway there. Y'all are halfway there. Just to get into oh, existence. I received it. I received it. I received it. Nobody yeah. can see it all, so you might as well just go ahead and play the part. Go ahead. We'll take donations at the end of this. We'll take donations at the end. <laughs> but it is definitely a pleasure for me to have you all on tonight. And I think we're going to learn a lot just because there's so many different personalities and also skill set on the phone tonight. And I think because of that, there's someone listening that, you know, that you 
will touch tonight just based off of your experience or based off of your style of coaching. And so um, I was going to go to To Be Real first, but I think <laughs> I'm going to save her. Um, I'm going to save you um, so that we can get. I'm going to go to um, to Coach Sherry. Ray Bogard first. I'm going to go to her first. Um, and I, I want to talk a little bit about the school in itself because I think it's important for people to understand uh, the instruction that you all were under um, going through the school and what the expectation was, but mainly what you yourself got out of it. Oh, so much. And uh, Coach Runder is on the phone with my teacher along with Dr. Terrell, um, learned so much branding and then at being able to reach the audience, uh, being able to um, be that example, uh, not going into a situation and just trying to tell people what they do or what they need to do, but being there to guide them, to help them, to support them, and to allow them to re themselves or pick back up what they lost. Uh, with so much going on. And also, Coach Ronda, again, thanks for having been popped out for her. I learned a lot about myself that I didn't know. So it, it's making me a better person so that I can help someone else become a better them or a better you uh, in essence. So, yes. I love it. We're going to have to get you a shirt um, with um, Beyond the Fence, the label, and the CEO of the label, David Ben. And we have a brand, um, a shirt brand, and it is entitled Better You. <laughs> the clothing line is uh -huh. actually entitled Better You. Oh, so we'll definitely wow. have that's to get it. That's like the cliche. I'm like, let me be your life coach so I can uh, help you become a better you. Oh, my yes. God. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll talk about that. So let's talk more about the better you, though, because you decided just, um, and we'll get to um, the next person, but you decided that you want people ultimately life coaching is about getting people to understand who they are and I love that you said going through the school you didn't just think about the people you were going to touch you actually started identifying with some of the areas of your life that needed to be touched as well and so in that you became a better person why a better you though why was that your philosophy for your ministry or for your coaching so I do have a uh, nonprofit, a 501c3 here in Memphis, Tennessee, and we focus on individuals who are victims of domestic violence or intimate partner violence, and I'm a survivor. And so part of becoming a better you is learning who you are. Uh, my thing is when you know better, you do better. And sometimes we do, uh, we forget where we came from or uh, potentially lost as to where we're going. And we always need someone, whether it's a support person or a sidekick or that good homie or whoever you refer to, so just having an individual. So learning who I was to become a better me, it's now helping me exemplify that our world is missing something. Uh, I, we have so many unique people out here that have so many skills and talents and traits, and they just need someone to help them, to motivate them and encourage them for a minute and just a, use a strength-based focus to say, hey, tell me who you are, and I kind of be their cheerleader in the background. So helping them remember, you are a king, you are a queen. Uh, that's how we were born, and let's continue to keep that status going. Amen, amen. Yeah, definitely I'm going to send you some music after this um, show. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. The next, I'm going to go to um, Coach Rhonda because she – brought you up. She brought you up. And so as an instructor for the school, uh, clearly you have someone on the line with you who has gone through your teaching and you hear her speak and you know, okay, that's a good one. <laughs> you probably like, you probably behind the scenes like, yes, go girl, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> but I can appreciate the instructors because I think even in that every time you teach, I don't care what level of ministry you're in or even if you're not in ministry, it, it becomes like a, the coaching is an opportunity to minister to people because it's changing people's lives. So what what um, prompted you, uh, um, Coach Rhonda, um, yeah, Coach Rhonda to, is it instructor or Coach Rhonda? Um, Coach Rhonda. Coach Rhonda. Okay. Coach Rhonda. <laughs> so what, what, what prompted you, what age do you think you were when you decided life coaching is what you want to do, teach, 
and see kind of the fruit of that on, on the other side by listening to someone like um, Coach Sherry? Um, well, you, you, you asked me what age? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So um, I've been helping people for a long time because I, I was a daycare owner. I used to own a daycare. And so not just being a provider, but you have to deal with the family as well not just the children. And when you start pouring into the parents' life, in order for you to help the kids, you have to help the family. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things that I did. And when I got out of daycare, I started working for child welfare for 10 years. And so I started doing life coaching with the parents. And one thing that I learned for working for child welfare, it has to be a purpose and not just a job. And so that's when I tapped into my purpose that I need to become a life coach because assisting people to unlock their power from within is what I live by. And so I ended up going to the, I met Coach T and I ended up going to the school and enrolling in the school. And I knew all along that I was a leader and I was a teacher. It was just divine appointment. And so once I got into the, to the school, I just knew that I had to go further and we just, it just happened like that. And so when I hear testimonies like Miss Sherry and when she said what she said about me, that lets me know that I'm, I'm not just existing, but I'm living, and everything that I'm doing is not in vain. So I appreciate that, Ms. Sherry. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, love you. <laughs> it has to be a blessing, though, because when you think about um, a couple of things I heard you say, um, Coach Rhonda, a couple of things I heard you say is that it didn't just start with the life coaching and, and the fact that it, it does have to be a purpose. You find that you're already working in it, like I always tell uh, my staff, I always say you have to get, you have to work the job before you get it. That's like right. it's a must that you work it before you get it. Yes. So right now, as it stands, at times I feel a lot of people become life coaches because it's a trend, right? So it's kind of like something that they add as an accreditation to their ministry if they're pastors, and you just right. see life coaching pop up, pop up, pop up. But I've watched you guys. I've watched um, Dr. Jenkins and just how he, um, you know, just the elevations that comes with his um, his school and the people who come out of it and the things that he has on the outside of the school to offer the community, um, you, you have to work the job before you get it. So you started off, like you said, helping families, and mm-hmm. it starts with the community. Mm-hmm. So many people become life coaches. To be real, I'm coming your way. <laughs> so many people become life coaches because they want to help their friends. And maybe their friends will listen to them because, you know, now you have that life coach certificate and or license. And so the first thing you want to do is like Mary Kay, you start selling the product and you want to start trying that on your friends. So talk to the person who is maybe thinking about life coaching and may not understand how much work it takes and how you are um, impacting people's lives within the coaching, that it's not just it's should not just be a trend. It should be a lifestyle. That's right. You is this my question? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, um, it's funny that you said that because I've had some people that have asked me, well, and just told me, I think I want to go and be a life coach. And the first thing I asked them, what is a life coach? Mm-hmm. And when they, you know, they feel like life coaching is telling people what to do. And I told them, no, there's a difference mm-hmm. between a life coach and a therapist. And I told them, I said, we are here to assist. We are here to assist people. And when you become an, a life coach, assisting means giving them their power back because they come to you feeling powerless anyway. And they trust you, they depend on you, and they need you. And if you're not going to be sold out for this, then you're not a life coach. You know you're a life coach when you say the name and it do something to you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. If you don't get that feeling, then you're not you're not a life coach. You you just you know it's just like a singer, an artist. Um, you know that you're an artist. You know that you're a natural born artist. It's a feeling that you get. That's the same thing as a life coach. When I talk to Coach T, I tell him I can be up at two and three and four o'clock in the morning thinking about what I'm going to do with my next session with my client, thinking about something like I can do to better my program because my program wow. now at a girl at a girl's nineteen empowering life coach service. Not only do I have that, but I have a whole mentor mentor program inside of my life coach program. And what I do is once they finish the school, 
I bring them on into my program to show them how to have a life coach program because what happens is you can you can go to school to be a life coach, but do you know what to do after that? And that's where mm-hmm. the encouragement comes in because a lot of people don't. So when you can do that, you know that that's, you have to know what your purpose is. You just can't say, I want to be a life coach because it's a trend or it's a thing or you're looking at money. This has to be a purpose and it has to be your passion. And it's a mission and a ministry, and those have to line up, and that's when you know you're a coach. Amen. Coach Coco, I'm going to segue a little bit just because I want to um, to touch on some of um, what To Be Real just said. So that stuck with me, so you guys are going to have to. <laughs> that's how, that's how I'm going to <laughs> so, one that's thing, what I do. <laughs> one thing that she said, she said that there is a difference between therapists and life coaching. And. And I said it at the start of the show that a lot of people may feel that, you know, our culture, when you go into counseling, it means something is wrong with you or, you know, um, people are afraid to do it because they feel that um, they're going to be talked about. Sometimes it's embarrassing, especially women. You know, we want to have all these different layers of clothing on that kind of make us look the part. But deep down inside, we're just Mm -hmm. we're Mm -hmm. just. We're just broken. We're just broken. And we're afraid to admit that. But then what we've always been thrown at was a therapist. Go see a psychiatrist. Go see a psychologist. So what would you say the differences are between the therapist, psychologist, and psychiatrist and the life coach? Well, actually, I think therapists and psychologists is um, is more scientific. They deal with the mind. They deal with your chemical um and balance and, and those different things. And just like the other coaches said, for life coaching, it is your, we're your cheerleaders. You come to us and, and give, give us a goal. You come and you sit down and say, you know, um, this is something that I want to achieve in my life. I keep hitting roadblocks. We build a plan. We begin to structure and deal with some of those things that, um, for me, that has been holding you back. And, you know, i pride myself on being able to see individuals who are not seen. And a lot of Mm -hmm. times, you know, especially in the church and different ministries, we are, I tell people a lot of times, I say we are walking around like the walking dead. You know that there is something great on the inside of you. You know that you are have this purpose, you have this gift, you just stuck. You're you're yeah. in a place that you, know, you don't know how to get from point A to point B. And that's what life coaches that's what we do. We help yeah. you figure out yeah. how to plan it out, how to stay committed and to build those skills and those those strategic skills to get you from point A to point B to be the best you can be. And that that's basically I feel like those that's the difference um for yeah. me. Well, you guys heard it here because um, it is important for us to know the difference between the therapist, the psychologist, and the psychiatrist and how how it equates to, like she said, it it, it deals with your chemical balance as opposed to the life coaching. Uh, The people on the line are rallying around you. They are setting up plans. There are people who have purpose in them. There are people who are creative. And for, for some reason, I mean, it can be traditional. It could be... You know, I have a saying where it's just that third grade teacher who said you would never be able to do it. That sticks with you. So you write that vision, you make it plain, you start walking it out, point A, point B, and by the time you get to C, you remember that teacher. And maybe by the next time you get to D and you remember that teacher. And so they're here to rally behind you. So I want you guys to get connected and we'll get their information. Um, I'm going to go to to- – uh, right before the show's over, we're going to get your, your information. And I love that you all have some type of program with – in the life coaching too. So it doesn't just stop there. It's indicative to what you're saying. I'm not stopping here. I know that after it's all said and done, you're still going to need that, you know, person to keep pushing and keep pushing. We all need that. We we all need that. Um, Coach Latroy, what would you say the hardest part of coaching is? We've heard the fun part. We've heard the part that everyone's, you know, just happy to rally around the next person or their clients and, um, you know, get them to point A to point B, but what would you say the hardest part of a life coach's role is? 
Um, actually, for me, I'm a newbie on the block. <laughs> I've actually, I'm in week two of the life coaching school. Great question. So, I, so that was a yeah. great question. <laughs> so I literally just started the school. Um, so the hard part so far um, has been for me, I have been a business development consultant and mm-hmm. a grant administrative consultant for the past 10 years. So with adding life coaching to what I already do, adding personal development to what I already do, it's been hard to kind of figure out how to, um, to maneuver that. And so for me, the hard part so far has been um, just figuring out the avenues to go. And I thank yeah. God for it in school because I've been writing a book for the past 10 years mm. <laughs> and part of what this school helps you to do is to get your book out, to launch your book. So, so I love um, the curriculum. So it's not just about you guys getting your life. Yes. It really pushes you as well to be a better you. Exactly. Coach Sherry. Coach Sherry. Yeah. So my first book is. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my first book is Journey to Blessing Road, The Path to Self-Discovery. And I literally live on Blessing Road. The name of our road is Blessing. So we're blessed going in and blessed going out. Um, I love it. Y'all are giving me chills. Y'all are giving me chills. And and I'm also working on another book called Cancer Walk of Faith because I'm living with stage four breast cancer right now. So part of my platform as well is to help other women um, with that have been diagnosed with breast cancer to encourage them and also just awareness of cancer. And because I'm under 40 and, you know, mm-hmm. they start the mammograms at 40. So it's yeah. just been a blessing to be introduced and to be connected with these wonderful women and with Coach T. And I'm just blessed. And so the hard part to answer your question is just knowing which way way to go and just being prayed up and prayerful and asking God for direction yeah. um, with being new to the life coaching um, all, to, all together. Well, I definitely am rallying behind you and rooting for you. And I know that you, um, you just, you just sound important. You sound like it's just going to, oh, whatever it is that you <laughs> Whatever you <laughs> want to happen is going to happen. If you are just tuning in with us, we're on the line. I have a, couple of awesome, amazing, and phenomenal women on the line with me. I have Coach Rhonda. I have To Be Real. That was Coach Latoya that you just heard. And I have Coach Mary Bogard and Coach Coco on the line with me. We're talking about life coaching today. Um, They are all a part of LCSA Coach. They are LCSA coaches. Um, each one of them either is, either is an instructor or has gone through the school and now are having their own opportunities to coach in their own mentorship programs. I want you guys to get connected with them because, and um, shout out to Dr. Um, Jenkins, because you have a phenomenal, I mean, anytime the people that you instruct or the people that you have in partnership can speak as eloquent as these ladies on the line are, not just about themselves, but the, they're paying homage to his schooling in the process and what they're learning and what they got out of it. Um, that is, says a lot. It's almost like going to one of those schools that you see the commercials on and the people have red socks and it's like you know that they went to that school. Have you seen that commercial? (laughs) I think you need to create a commercial like that, Dr. Jenkins. You need to have a commercial where it's like, you know, it says like LCSA on the stock and everyone's pulling it up and it's like we're we're on our way. If we see it, you know it came here first from Shea Samuels on the late night show with Jerry (laughs) Boyd. So it is it, it is a great opportunity for people to understand, again, and I'm speaking to our culture because it is imperative for us to have what you all have to offer outside. Um, in the little bit of time that we have, I'm just going to give you guys a shout out, but I would love for you to, one, tell people where they can connect with you. And not everyone got a chance to talk about their ministries out on the outside of or the inside of their um, their life coaching. So I'm going to start with Coach Rhonda again. Coach Rhonda, can you tell the listeners where to find you and just a little bit about anything that you have going on on the outside, like your mentorship program? 
Um, yes, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Atagirls19. My website is Atagirls19 Empowering Life Coach Service. Um, on the outside, I have a Atagirls. Um, I'm an empowering. I have an empowerment summit that I do every month. Um, I always post when I do it, and my program is Atta Girls 19 Empowering Life Coach Service. So you can just find me. You put Atta Girls 19, and you're going to find me. That's Atta Girls 19, mm-hmm. and we'll have that up on our pages as well. Um, and then we have To Be Real, Miss To Be Real. Thank you for allowing me. I'm a singer, so it's hard for me not to do that. You said it. You started it. You set the tone. So. And you sound beautiful. Yeah. That used to be like my cuts. That, that used to be what I used to say, like back in back in my prime, oh, wow. I, guess I could say. Um, so tell awesome. everyone where, to, where they can connect with you. And you've, you've given a little about your program, but – uh, where they can connect with you, and just for those who are who might be just tuning in now, a little bit more about the program. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give a, just a little bit more. Uh, my program is called "When Enough Is Final," and and that's basically based on standing strong, claiming your life back. Like if you went through any struggles, hurt, and especially relationships, because this is how I actually got, got involved because of of the. Um, struggle I was going through in my marriage and I didn't know where to go and I had new Terrell, Coach Terrell way back and and it's always back to your why you know mm. you know when you find out your why and your purpose and I think this is my why I came to Coach Terrell in the Life Coach School of Arkansas and my purpose is to get everyone else where I'm at today and what I went through. I know people, the, the initials, or should I say, when you say BS, uh, no, my BS means building strength. So mm-hmm. that's what my BS is. And so you can find me on Instagram and also Facebook. Also, I am part of Rebuilding My Hometown, which is Mariana, Arkansas. I do a, a basketball camp every year, which is free to all the youth down there. And Coach LaToya, I heard you say you was going through breast cancer awareness. I am part of the coordinating of the fashion show that is done every year for St. Bernard's Imaging Center. It's called Runway to the Cure. Wow. I coordinate the whole thing. I would love to meet you. So, um oh. That y'all about to yes. Yes. yes, yes, to be real. I love it, love it. Yes, to be real. Okay, yeah. what a blessing! See how that works. Just t- just show up. Paula G and I, we have a hashtag. <laughs> just show up. <laughs> when you just show up, you never know. You guys came to bless other people, but um, it just doesn't end, like, it's just limit, it's just limitless. Um. Coach Sherry Bogard, can you please provide where where the listeners can connect with you and a little bit more about your ministry, your coaching? Yes, most definitely, Shay. Thank you. Um, so Sherry Bogard, the B is the Queen B of Be True, and it is B E E capital T capital P lowercase R capital to you because it starts with you. You cannot be true to someone else until you are true to yourself. Um, so my uh, primary focus is victims of domestic violence, men and women. And so ultimately, again, I keep reiterating king and queen status. So we educate, elevate, and empower individuals in becoming a better them so that they can uh, reciprocate that and give it to their children so we can have a healthier, independent living style. Uh, We have a curriculum in our program where it's called the HILP, H-I-L-P, Healthier Independent living uh, plan, and uh, part of my component is a transitional housing program, which I own three homes in Memphis, Tennessee that house victims. It teaches them life skills, so I'm going in there being that life coach, and I'm helping them get back into the community being a healthier person. Uh, We also do things in our community, not only in Tennessee, but we touch the border of Arkansas and Mississippi where we educate, elevate, and empower. So that's what it's all about. Like I said, I'm the life coach that's teaching individuals to be a better you. Yeah. 
I love it. I absolutely love it. And then we have Coach Coach Coco. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, I am. You can find me at on Facebook, IG, YouTube, and it will be under Coco Chanel. Um, C O C O A S H E N E L L. Um, the life intervention specialist. So you can find me on all of those social media outlets. And just a little bit about your do you, um, anything you're doing on the outside of um, the. Any yes. Okay. Come yes, on. Let's I am. Let's I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am barely <laughs> new as well, but I just graduated, and um, so. I'm building my brand. I have done some one-on-one sessions. I'm in the process of getting my 501c3 to start um, what I will call the resuscitation house, and it will be a home um, for individuals who have dealt with sexual abuse, sexual assault, and not just females. I think a lot of times we gear it toward females and, and children, and there is no place for our males to go. So I want to do that. Um, I'm actually working on the paperwork. I've looked at a few buildings and getting that in order right now. Um, I also am in the process. I felt like um, the other coach, I've been writing my book for the last 10 years. Um, it, is called, <laughs> it is called Owning Your Identity. Owning Your Identity. And I think a lot of times we have to do things in God timing and not our own time. Yeah, and God right. has, when you do self-help books and things like that, God has has to take you through um, yeah. certain cycles. You know, right. you yeah. can't put that you That's are right. healthy and whole, and there are some layers of things yeah. that he still That's has right. to pull from you, yeah. some rejection and abandonment issues that you still deal with. Yeah. So I'm grateful for my 10-year writing, but um, it is yeah. almost through. It will also be a workbook attached to it. Um, and the last thing that I just did back in December, I have my own T-shirt brand for entrepreneurs, and it it is build it, brand it, boss it. So those are my things that I'm working on. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thank I you. want to just thank all of you. Uh, Coach Latoya, did we get your information? No, and I had a um, – I, I did want to say, too, that U-Life Academy is community-based education to assist individuals in character building, career growth, and being the best version of themselves in everyday life. So mm -hmm. we deal with basic life and as I said before, I'm a business development consultant, so I'm adding corporate workshops as well with personal development because organizations mm -hmm. are made up of individual people, and if everyone there is operating at their best level, then the entire organization can be successful. So yeah. I'm actually adding life coaching sessions along with not just one-on-one, -on -one, but in group settings for corporations. So that's part of what that I'll be wanting to do too for training for Fortune 500 companies or nonprofits or anyone that on the organizational level too. And then I also have a program for youth called UVU, and we encourage youth to be themselves and who God created them to be and to help them with self discovery. And as I said, I literally just got my license, my business license for this part with the life coaching, but um, I do have a Facebook page. And and it's U Life Academy, um, and it's actually spelled out Y O U Life Academy. And then also my email, if anyone has any questions or wants to contact me for me to come do a workshop, um, U Life Academy at Gmail dot com, and I'll spell it out Y O U Life Academy at Gmail. Well, I absolutely love it. I love it. I appreciate each and every one of you coming on tonight and just being a part of the Jerry Voice. Uh, live late night with Jerry Royce and myself. Um, it definitely was a blessing. I got a lot out of it. I know that you guys were calling in about the listeners, but just like you go to the school and you get some for you, I got a little something, something for me too tonight. So I thank y'all. <laughs> I got a thank piece you. of each one of you. See, everybody can't get that. Everybody either has to connect with y'all individually, but I got every last one of y'all on one night and I was blessed by it. Um, Dr. Terrell Jenkins, we want to thank you for allowing 
for these um, beautiful ladies to come on tonight, not only to represent you, but to represent them and trusting them with your vision. Um, if anyone is interested in um, learning more about the life coach um, of our Arcan- Arkansas school, I don't know why I want to say Arkansas. <laughs> Most people do. Like, what? Huh? It is. Our, there is the Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I keep wanting to say that. But anyway, uh, go to lifecoachschoolofarkansas.com. And shout out to him because he's actually doing like the Zoom meetings. <laughs> he's doing like the Zoom meetings. So like that, there's no life coach left behind on his watch. <laughs> there's he no life awesome. Oh, so that's a real king there. He's awesome. Look, before Jerry, we need just a little bit more time. L- listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Coach Rhonda to do this. Uh, um, just you know, what words of encouragement do you have for Dr. Terrell Jenkins tonight? Um, just one for allowing you guys to bless uh, the listeners tonight, but just for what he's thrown into you. And you can speak on behalf of each one. Everybody else will have to write a card to him. But Coach Rhonda, since you are the uh, Instructor, what words of encouragement do you have for him tonight? Um, well, I guess I'll just say what I say all the time. Um, I, I told him that his gift will always make room for him. And what you what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. And he's a true blessing to the school, to the body, and I'm just grateful for that. I got the opportunity not just to be a student in the class, but he saw – he saw what I knew that I had, and he saw it from day one. He saw he saw what I was, and that's a leader and an instructor and a teacher. And he just he just I mean he just so anointed. And we we talk all the time, maybe like three or four times a day. And I, I consistently, I constantly tell him thank you. Just thank you for believing in everybody that comes through the school. And again, your gift will make room for you, and what you make happen. For others, God will make happen for you. You are amazing. We love you. And thank you for even just being obedient and just opening up this school. Amen. Amen. Well, I have one more question for all of you ladies. Again, shout out to Dr. Terrell Jenkins. Amazing. And I cannot wait to meet you in person. And all of you ladies, the same. I just connected with you all on Facebook. You better like my friend request. I do have one more question for all of you, and you can answer at the same time. But can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Can you feel yeah. the power? Yeah. Yeah. the power. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling the power, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for joining me tonight. I was blessed, for sure. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. My name Good is night. Madison. I'm from Haiti, but I'm leaving Dominican Republic. I'm here, Prozive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power. A double X. Podcast. That's right. You tell them, robot. Don't forget, everybody. Come back next week, starting at eight o'clock. That's right, with Doctor Pastor Dwayne Duckett. I'm sorry, Dante Duckett is here, starting to show off at eight o'clock. Then nine o'clock, the Lakeisha Mosley show, and ten o'clock, late night with Jervis Live, Paula G, and Shay Samuel. Tuesday, we're gonna be celebrating fifty episodes with Doctor V. So come by and join us. We got some special guests. It's going to be here to congratulate her. That's right, 50 episodes. That's a lot of episodes, y'all. That's about three seasons for Dr. V. So come on by and hang out with us. Also, you got Paula Breon coming out of New York City. She gives us an update what's going on in her, in her city. That's right, you know, the Big Apple. So, so catch us tomorrow night starting at 8 o'clock with Dr. V. Then we got Paula Breon. And then we got Shalonda. Shalonda Williams, Inspirational Treasure. Starts at 10. All right, y'all. We appreciate you guys, and we will see you soon. God bless you, and feel the power. Feel the power of the kingdom.
come follow this transition. Let's grow together because that's what it's about. Molding, shaping, loving, caring. Let's go get it. And I salute you with both hands. I love you because we're going to be on the fence.